seems like this person just can't stop daydreaming about you and they see signs about you everywhere they go it's like they can't escape you they can't escape the thought of you but they're confused about where you guys stand they're confused about ace of swords in reverse what to say to you it's very unclear to them the direction that this is going they don't know if you want to push this forward they're not sure if you're looking at them like they're the one that you want but they want you to know that they 100 percent like i want you to be a part of my future this is the commitment card they feel like our love is always there despite the distance so whatever's going on between you whether it's just emotional distance or physical distance they feel they feel you all the time and they feel like no matter what happens the divine is going to bring this back together okay this person looks like they're manifesting you back knight of cups looks like there's a romantic offer that's being manifested in this energy seven of wands but it's coming very slow because somebody's being defensive it's coming in very slow because somebody's being defensive who's being defensive and why what what is this here that's delaying <laughs> knight of wands so the delay in communication is just a little bit of fear this person is afraid that you're going to cut them off, that you're pissed. Again, remember, they're a little confused about where you guys stand. So they're afraid, like, if I come forward, the death card, maybe if I get rejected, this will be over for good. Your energy is very mysterious here. The High Priestess, the Moon card, and the Queen of Wands, you are a mystery, but you are drawing this person's energy back to you. You are this queen of wands here so if you've been deliberately manifesting or working on yourself or like trying to get your ass together like it looks like that's been working and so this person is right now breaking free of their self-doubt so that they can level up in this emperor energy to come towards you so it's not going to be in like a negative energy it's going to be in a peaceful energy where we can both agree and compromise and talk openly and honestly, the sun card, about our potential reconciliation, about our reunion, about how we want to proceed in the future, about what we need to do in order to communicate and get unstuck because we are soulmates.